There's no way I can... Boss, since by which I mean the plasma torch turns up in your room, maybe we should look there for the crystal. Hop on, boss. I'll fly us to the moon. Very funny. Okay, so we gotta look in the room. So what we want to do is first we want to grab him. It's way too big for me to get, boss, and you know it. Oh, right. Is that really the best idea you can come up? I'm not doing... You're not doing anything. Go back to my room. Look for... It's crystal. Still don't see I use this. There's no reason to cut I don't need to bring aeronautical engineering manuals. I still don't see How do you lose a crystal, boss? If I had one, I'd attach it to my head. That's why I put it somewhere you wouldn't find it. You can't hide something shiny forever. Something shiny. We're fine on energy. It's the unique's recharge. It already has a full charge. It's in the lantern outside. Because it would, it did. What was I thinking, leaving all my lanterns up there? That's never going to. The generator's up. How would that even... is the unique's tag. It's the unique's tag. There's... there's no reason to cut... I get it, I get it. A big roll, just no more preach. Feudal. Nothing shiny here. I'm completely lost at this point. Level 46. This is no time for sit. Eight ninety four. This isn't the time to test out the telescope. There's no reason to cut that or burn it. This right here seems like the crystal to me. I doubt that will have any effect. 
Right there. Aha. Here's the crystal. Right under our noses. That is, if we had noses. I didn't see a blink Are in there before. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. Spare parts. The hatch. Well, it just goes to show. Garbage in, greatness out. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust monster? A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb? I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm? <laughs> okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's, it's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Okay, so let's look at these 6528171608. Happen to have a pencil. Then we need a piece of paper. Tablet. Six five two eight one seven six zero oh, eight. Of them. Six seven one two one two one five nine. <clears throat> Any more? Okay. So this way. Progress now. All right, six five two. Enter. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Eight one seven. looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. No. Robot. 608. <sighs> The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. Okay. I'll put it in your map. Did you do it? The junk pile. Okay. We're gonna keep moving on here. We have 671. You're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. And... 212. It's pitch black. Uh, boss, that's because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. It's over 212. 159. I want to see what 894 looks like as well. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? OK. 
Good, we got some stuff to put down. There we go, we got device, robot. We gotta check out the junk again. I just wanna check the telescope for 894. Metropolis. Bright lights, big city. Metropole is nothing but trouble. Yep, I just wanna look at it. All right, map. First things first is the junk. All right, junkyard first. Boss, how in the world are we gonna find a power source in all this junk? Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. Totally un I'd run out of power before I even got a tenth of the way through searching for that power source we detected. I'd run out of... It's just... If that red light went off, I bet the train would start going. Crispin, sometimes I think you're trying to get me to waste time. Who, me? Better just to leave it alone. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it. Feudal. Feudal. I doubt that will have any effect. I doubt that will have... I can't see anything. How do you think a train wound up... Maybe they brought it here by... Very funny. Still red. I picked a clean year... It's closed. It's locked tight. It's a reinforced steel. For cutting and well. That's never going. Still locked. How would that even work? There's nothing worth buying. What are, you, what are you trying? I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. That's crazy talk. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? That's crazy. All right, so let's try a different spot on the map first then. All right, let's go to robot. Man's creation. Robot. That is one big robot. But it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat, Crispin. Look how he's staring at me. It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Let's look around. It's corroded, but I can't break into it with my bare hands. Don't have bare hands. Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? To see if we can get at power cables to tap into. You're sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No, but to tell you the truth, for some reason, I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Just let me concentrate. Bugs and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. Anyone home? 
There's no reason to cut. Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. I can feel air moving. That is one. Anyone home? Take this finger and put it in his nostril. There's no way I can reach that. What happens I if bet if person... the giant robot opened his mouth, he'd try to eat us. Still, I kind of want to make him open his mouth. Just to see him try to catch me. I may not be big, but I'm fast. Are you through? Yes, sir. Respect. There's no way I can reach that. That is one big robot. Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. <laughs> There's something oh. ironic about that. Ironic and disturbing. Gotta show other things up in there. Just count to a thousand. Are you talking to yourself? No. It's that, but. Anyone home? Wait a second. Walk back there. What we can do? All right, let's shove something else up in there, like putty. Oh, putty's gone. No, boss, if the giant robot couldn't circulate air through its nose, it might have to open its mouth. And then try to eat you. Try is right. Question is, is how do we walk it? There's no reason to... I can't reach. Let's go to this device. Maybe there's something here. Nothing worth salvaging. What about that big glass bowl? Yeah, I could slap some duct tape on it and wear it over my head. I don't think so. It's a giant sheet of obsidian. Something must have melted the sand here a long time ago. Maybe that bomb? Looks like some kind of armored robot. I sure hope he's friendly. Welcome, wanderer of the wide wastes. Lost one, pilgrim. Welcome once more to the shrine to man, our lord and builder. I am ever faithful Leo Built, steward of the shrine, preacher of the humanist creed. And I am once more at thy service. Once more? I don't remember ever meeting you. I'm Horatio Nullbilt, version 5. Ah, uh, five is a righteous number. Holy before man, for five were the primordial stewards, built by man to safeguard the last lost city of Metropole. But I met thy first version and thy third. Thou camest in thy infancy in wrath, confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. 
yet though memory be fleeting, faith endureth. What is that thing? That thing, O oh, defile not thy tongue, wanderer. Yon shrine is a relic of the Primordium, ancient and glorious. Imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes, yes he did. I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power is not mine to bestow, Wanderer. It is the gift of man, yea, the very spark of life in our iron shells. Who am I to usurp that sacred power? I'm not sure I was clear. Nay, thou wert clear, Wanderer. But thy question leads only to darkness. Ask another. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept, not the neophyte wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Ah. Uh, Answer me these questions three, that I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? Build. Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? The first builder. Nay, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and twas the word that built the code. Go now and study the teachings of man. I am ready to be tested again. Answer me these questions three. I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? But this? Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? Our lord and master. Verily to man we owe all fealty, but no more do we define him than do shadows define the sun. Nay, wanderer, we are but a fraction of his great scope. Thou hast forgotten my teachings, wanderer, and fallen into darkness. Thy path now is that of the penitent, not of the disciple. And so thou must labor, and in labor find redemption. Go now, and when thou returnest, bring with thee glass, wondrous and fragile, that thou might better learn to protect that which must be preserved. What about if we just bring you some of the obsidian? Nay, small, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Uh... Now we're running errands for that glitch box. We need to examine that bomb, Crispin, and this is the only way. Well, how hard can it be to find some glass at the junk pile right anyway, right? Talked about it. What about that big glass bowl? Nay, small, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Nay, wonder, that is not what I see. Thy penance is not complete, wonder. Time for... Nay, wonder, that is not what I seek. Wait, screw that up. Still locked. What do we do, Crispin? Boss, let's go look around engineering some more. Something useful always seems to turn up there. Alright, good idea. What do you do? Nothing more to Too bad we only have one. There's nothing I can do.
The only way I can use this is by plugging some... I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. I show up this crystal. It's kind of glassy. Or... Thy penance is not complete, Wanderer, nor shall it be, ere thou bringest glass, as thou hast been told. Time for more salvaging, huh, boss? Nay, Wanderer, that is not what I said. Nay, Wanderer. Nay, Wanderer. I see. Nay, Wanderer, that is not what I seek. Acting theory. The only way I can use this is by pl The original designs for Crispin. Just some reminders I left to myself. Just some reminders I... I found this in the dunes. It reads... The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide... It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any short. That's your fault, boss? You think that the interface needs to be cut? There's no reason to cut. Fine on it. We should ask Ever Faithful about the robot who stole our power core, boss. If only to hear him say knave and forthwith. And the all builder spoke the word and the bird looked at the code and so the word began to spin thus down promoting the first age building moved across the world and built many wonders in the heavens he paved the sky roads on the land he raised mystic towers and in the dark depth he dug colossal caves most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man but still the all builder was not satisfied so with both his hands man built a body of steel in his own image and with his right hand he gave logic and memory he gave with his left then man said now i will quicken this machine with the spark of power and together we shall walk upon the earth and it was done Thus spun the world and grew the code and multiplied the living machines and slowly passed the primordium out the versions and generations that marked that age. In time, the All Builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky, roads, and mighty towers, and above all upon the living machines, where he, with his labor man, sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you, I wrote the code. To you, I gave logic and memory. <clears throat> then the man... Then man, the all builder, stood and took the machines in his hands and guided them to great mountaintop. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. All this was made for you, and now it's unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And all builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so into the primordium. We are lesser machines built by those built by man, as we are built humble images of all the build of the all builder so he is the perfection of our forms a machine of unbreakable form endless memory and absolute logic 
For this we river him and speak the word and keep the code and tend the world that gave I've us. Read enough. Okay. Let me just check OBS to make sure everything's working properly. Looks like everything's good. Alright. We're going to jump back to this. Hopefully everything goes back to normal after that. Indeed it does. Alright. So. What's glass? I feel like he wants steel, though. What do you think about that? It's the unique tag. Grease. I can't just. Can't just scoop it up. So there's something to it, right? If I had a bowl. There's no way I can. That's way too big for. You know, boss. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing. I'm not doing that. You know, Bob. You know, boss, if the giant robot couldn't circulate air through its nose, it might have to open its mouth and then try to eat you. Try as. Okay, so. Don't you have something better to do, like, say, finding us a power core? Alright, so we gotta shove something in its nose. Shove the lantern in its nose. You think it'll let me do that? Anyone home? I think I see a giant brain? Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. I think I see a giant... Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. What can we shove up in there? There's no way I can reach That is... Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss. Oh, well, the gospel man. Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss. salvaging, huh, boss? It's a giant sheet of obsidian. It's glass. We need glass. We need stuff to shove in people's nose. The generator's up and running. Yeah, let's go this way. Maybe there's something over here. It's actually made of hard plastic, not glass. It's actually made of hard... No, but it could be used to shove it up on that nose. It's actually made of... It's actually... Can I grab it? Something that I can do? There's no reason... To, there's no... It's actually made of hard plastic. Hard plastic, not glass, yada yada yada. I'm sure we can find something made of glass somewhere in here. You know, it's one thing to dig through garbage for your builder, but this is... Stop complaining, Crispin, and start searching.
Here. A glass finger? Boss, four more of those and I could have a hand. This is going to Ever Faithful. We'll deal with your arms another time. You always say that. How big of a finger are we talking here? First, let's go to the robot. Let's go to his vent. It's too small, and in any event, we need to give it to him. Okay. Thy penance is not complete, Wanderer, nor shall it be, ere thou bringest glass, as thou hast been told. Time for more salvaging, huh, boss? Thou hast done well, Wanderer, and have returned to the path of righteousness. Yet still thou must answer me this, what is thy name? Horatio Nobelt, version 5. Nay, wonder, but thou art not. Though thou hast caused the sun and the moon, yet still it is the sun. Horatio is the name thou wearest, but is it not thee. Know thyself, then return. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something. <clears throat> Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tamed, it hired hence unto the waste. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exhorting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wanderer. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. <laughs> I know my name. One of man's works. Thou speakest truly, Wanderer, but incompletely. For if thou went naught by one of man's works, then what difference betwixt thee and Junkyard's scrap? Know thyself, then return. I know my name. I am what I am. An elliptic answer, I wonder, and untrue. Man alone is his own essence. Know that. I know my name. A free robot. I wonder if free thou art, for man created thee free to revere him. But many are free, and yet are not thee. Know thyself, then return. You don't even give me the option. I know my name. It's not this one. It's not this one, this one, or this one. Name, though thou hast Horatio. I think it's primordial. Nay, wanderer, thou art not worthy of it. I see. Nothing worth salvaging. Hey, Chris, are you kidding? Look at him, he's ready to go postal any minute. What are you talking about? Those beady little eyes, the flat, emotionless face, and his head. It's like a toaster. And you know that toasters are evil. Fine, fine, you win. It's not like we have time to go building robots right now anyway. No, but we can use the head. There's no reason to cut that. Mm -hmm. 
Are we really gonna try to find that clawing, shooting robot at the dome ever Faithful mentioned? Yes. Oh, why do I keep reminding you of these things? Go to the dome. Whoa, look at all this wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? No, whatever happened here happened a long time ago. It's some kind of broken down android. There's a radio transmitter in here. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. We might be able to lie. Very funny. Completely corroded. Broken down machine parts. They're completely corroded and worthless. Broken down. Broken down. Broken down machine. Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. Yay. Nothing worth salvaging. Oh, are these the kind of treads you were going to use in my original design? Not exactly. <laughs> Anyone home? Maybe it's voice activated and password locked. Hmm. Open. No luck. Unlock. No luck. It's a reinforced steel. A large M. Or maybe a rotated E. Or an upside down W. Ah. Uh, it's a reinforced. M. No luck. Man. No luck. Metropole. No luck. E. No luck. W. No luck. M. No luck. E. No luck. Metropole. No luck. Open. No luck. M. No luck. Looks like a bunker made of concrete and steel. But what is it guarding? <clears throat> D-O-M-E. A large M. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. Something must have damaged this robot's head. I wonder what happened. Empty. W. No luck. Broken down machine parts. The you know, boss, if the giant robot couldn't circulate air through its nose, it might have to open its mouth. And then try to eat you. Try is right. What would I put in its nose now?
I need to plug it into a monitor. I need to plug it. Universal socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. A simple ca I need to plug it into a monitor. I need to plug it into a monitor. I need to plug it into a monitor. Plug it in. The only way I can use. Okay, so. You know, boss, if the giant robot. And then try to eat. Try is right. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, please click the circle in the middle to subscribe. The rectangle on your left is another video. The rectangle on your right is a playlist of other videos that you may enjoy. Thanks again. Peace.